Countdown to liftoff, folks. Monday morning, a historic space flight for Blue Origin is still on track. That flight has a distinctive flight crew, an all-female crew, including one very popular and familiar, CBS Morning's Gail King. Our Karen Border speaking with CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman. He is in Van Horn in West Texas, where he will watch that space flight. Karen talking with him about the flight, what it means for so many, and what Gail's primary role will be. She is a passenger. She is just expected to do really no more than enjoy herself. It's, it's not all that dissimilar from being a passenger on a commercial plane, for instance. She'll go up to the edge of space about uh, 62 miles above Earth. At the top of the experience, the, she and the other five women aboard, and it is an all-female crew, are going to experience about four minutes of weightlessness, and then they'll come back down to Earth. The parachutes will open. They'll, with any luck, land gently in the desert a couple of miles from where they started on Jeff Bezos's ranch here in West Texas. So it's going to be a, an 11-minute ride to remember for Gail and the other five women on board. And, Mark, as I mentioned, you have been covering Blue Origin since its first manned flight in 2021. Tell us, how has the world of space tourism changed since then? It's, it's just taken off, Karen. I mean, in, in the last four years, we've had more than 100 uh, civilian astronauts on Blue Origin, on Virgin Galactic, in a more ambitious way on, on, on SpaceX. They say more ambitious because with SpaceX, you've actually had civilian astronauts go into orbit. This is a suborbital flight. Um, but for now, this still remains a very expensive individual thing to do. Uh, it's mostly wealthy people who have been uh, going through this experience. And the theory, Karen, is that with, in time, with more regular launches on reusable spacecraft and rockets, that, that the price tag is going to begin, begin to come down. Not to the point where everybody can do it, but to the point where more people can do it. It becomes more affordable as a price point uh, for people who are looking for a very unusual experience as a tourist. And Mark, just looking at the scenery behind you, it's clear that this launch site near Van Horn is so much different than what you'd expect to see at Cape Canaveral. Can you describe what the scene's like typically on launch day? Yeah, it's... Um, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and, and Blue Origin, owns a massive ranch here in, in West Texas. And in, in the middle of that ranch is uh, what amounts to the Blue Origin spaceport, which includes the landing, uh, the launch pad and the landing site. Um, and so it's very deserty. Uh, it's you're right. It's not like uh, Kennedy Space Center where you're where you're used to seeing the water uh, behind the uh, the rockets taking off. Uh, this is uh, this is this is much more of a desert environment. It's very rural. Uh, there are not. This is this this town of Van Horn is a few thousand people. It's about 30 miles from the launch pad or so. Um, but uh, like everybody else, people here are excited just about what's what's happening um, uh, with the launch because it brings a, a lot of excitement to a, a small town. Mark Strassman reporting for us from Van Horn. Mark, thank you very much for your time. Up, up and away. Here we go. You can actually watch Gail's Journey to Space Monday morning right along with us right here at CBS Texas. We are actually hosting a watch party lift off live at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. The excitement kicks off early 5 a.m. right here on CBS News Texas.